Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive subscribers and subbies, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, I spent the entire day out shopping. I really didn't mean to. It just happened that way. I visited at least three different Tuesday mornings. Went to Wally World, went to Hobby Lobby, went to Dollar General, and stopped by a store called Once Upon a Child. And I'm going to show you that first because that's the one of the cr non crafted items that I purchased. I purchased this DVD set here. It's an animated series called The Mummy, which I had actually forgotten about. And I really did like the few times that I did see this. So I picked it up because I am an animated person. I love cartoons from my day. Let me put it that way. And probably the 80s, maybe the 90s, but that's about it. The rest of them, no. Okay, from Wally World, I picked up these notebooks. I've taken the labels off already. These are some 5 by 7 notebooks. I should have gotten 6. I don't know why I picked up 5. But I got these so that I can make some traveler's notebooks. I'm working on two right now. And I'm going to start another couple too in a, as soon as I finish those two. So I got these notebooks for that. These were 67 cent a piece. I got this heavyweight sheet protected so I can make the shaker window. So I got those and I picked up this thing right here. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like four bucks. And this is to house my new um, sequence in that I just got in. So I'm going to show you guys those. And those are the few things that I picked up at Wally World. I picked these 5 by 7 notebooks up at Dollar General. How many is it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. I picked up 15 of the same types of books. Same, same book. And these were actually 2 for a dollar at Dollar General. So now Dollar Tree is getting over to an extent. I my first ones like this I picked up I got at Dollar Tree and I paid a dollar per book. And I did not know until my granddaughter told me that Dollar General had the same books two for a dollar and Walmart got them for 67 cents. So I had been hunting them down at Do Dollar Tree. Excuse me for a second. I have to apologize for the noise guys and I don't even remember where I stopped it but again I got these um, 5 by 7 notebooks here composition books from Dollar General I got these two for a dollar as opposed to paying a dollar for them each at Dollar Tree and I got the last ones I think I said from Wally World for 67 cent a piece and these are this is the only thing I got at Dollar General I picked up some things from Hobby Lobby and let's just take them all out here. I needed some blades for one because mine are dull. So that was the main thing I went to get. But while I was there, yeah, I got a little, got a little overzealous and picked up a few other things. Now, mm. My coffee is good. These are the blades that I picked up for my Fiskars cutter. I love that thing. I picked up these beads. And I think these were half off. I picked these up to make um, some dangles for maybe a couple of TNs. Maybe not all, but I'll see. I picked these pom poms up because... I had been looking at the other pom-poms and they were like three dollars for one pom-pom on a keychain so I wanted to get these to see if I could oh and these are nice they feel good too so I can fluff these out and I'm going to make my own keychains using these because I've been I've been wanting some pink ones anyway and I have all the other colors well I ain't gonna say all but I got a few of the other colors so if this is the case I can go and pick up black and white and then I'll just have these like on standby 
I got these sequins as well. I got this copper colored one. These are real small. What does it say? What size? These are the five millimeter size and they're in the copper color or the bronzy color. I got these pretty ones. These are some type of gold shimmer. They are beautiful. So I got these. And I got these pink ones, the same as the little shimmery gold ones. I think they're just gorgeous. So I only picked up three of those because I took, I got a haul I got to show you guys that I got from Cartwright. I was running low on my seed beads. Actually, they had I, they are the white ones, but I got these clear ones, these crystal ones. So I, I'm gonna use these because these I think were also on sale half off. These are the keychains that I'm going to be using to um, attach my pom-poms with so I got two packs of these I got some E6000 because I love to keep this stuff around even though the smell of this upsets my stomach almost instantly I keep this around because I'm always trying to glue something as a matter of fact I got a cup I need to glue back together and it was something else I need to do I got a tube already I just can't find it so I picked up another one since I was out I got this wire so that I could use it to attach these things with. So I think I'm going to do some wire, I, I can't say it's, it's not wire wrapping, but I'm going I'm to try it first and then I'll show you guys, if, I, if I'm successful, I'll show you guys how I use this wire to make these pom-poms into a keychain. And I picked up these, these were supposed to be on sale, I can't even remember, I think they were half off today and so I got these, bo these both paper clips and also I got these cute ring uh, paper clips. Non-crafty item I got at Tuesday morning are these things. I think they call these egg cups. I'm not real sure. Does it have a name on it? It just says white essential serving dishes. Set of six. So and they were six dollars five ninety nine and then I got twenty or twenty five percent off with the yellow sticker and I've always wanted some of these um I want to is still and I have not had a chance to do it yet is to create a tablescape on my dining room table so that's one of the reasons why I picked these up so I can try to do that and maybe hopefully do a fairly decent job at creating a tablescape and now the rest of the stuff is crafty items. And that's it. let me grab these for you real quick. I took everything out of the bag so you guys wouldn't hear that crunchy. And it normally affects my camera. Um, it has some little weird sound when I when I uh, crunch those bags when I'm trying to um, pull stuff out of them. So anyway, I got this thing. And this is a tag punch. So I'm not sure exactly how to use it. I don't know if it does whole tags or what. So I'm going to have to check this out and see how I can make this work. I think you cut, cut the tags to an exact size and then punch. So, but I did have, I do have this tag punch. Let me see where I can just put these things back in as I show them. I got this, um, these dies right here. Let me see. Okay. I don't know. That's okay. And it says, love you, happy. And I think that one is forever, I think. So I got those. I got these right here. And really only because of this ampersand. But I do have, the, have these ones. I got this die set. I don't know who I saw with this die set, but it's a die and die and punch, no die and stamp set, and it's got today detail story noted and captured. And here are the stamps, and here are the dies. So I got that. I picked up this die set as well to make this pretty rolls. There was another, I think it was Elizabeth something, I think, had a beautiful rose dye. And I missed out on it or I couldn't find it or something. But I went on to pick this one up in hopes that I can use this one. 
and I picked up um, these dies as well I don't think I have the lovely so that's why I went on and got it and if I do have the lovely I'll give this one to my um, daughter-in-law because she has a die cutting machine I've always wanted to get a second set of these numbers so I got these and this is when I was really really doing my um, what is that my my planner in my target dollar spot planner so that's why I wanted a second set of those I'm hoping to get started back on that again because I really do want to I picked up these washi tapes because the TNs that I'm working on now this is one of the main colors in it so for washi tape samples I got this I picked up these little bows just because they were cute and I really need to stop doing that but I picked these up to go on some TNs of course and I think this is the last thing that I picked up from Tuesday morning and these are some bow clips hope that light isn't too bright on that and I also got they were $1.99 and I also got an extra percentage 20 or 25 percent off of that one and the last stuff I'm going to show you guys is my haul from my very small haul from Cartwright Sequence and then I'm going to get these in my little thingamabob that I just picked up from Wally World. I picked up, let me see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen packs of sequin from Cartwright. And this one says Buttercup uh, Confetti Mix. And these are very pretty as well. I love, actually all of their sequins look gorgeous. And this is the Buttercup four millimeter crystal iris cupped flower there they are and I thought this was the prettiest pink this is called primrose four millimeter crystal iris cupped flower and here they are I hope the camera is focusing these are nude six millimeter slightly cut satin and I thought this was really pretty See, and this one says white five millimeter crystal opaque flower and um do you guys see all those colors I don't know if this thing is gonna show let me see I don't know if it's gonna show up but do you see the rainbow effect or what are they called the AB effect because it said white it's, they white underneath and opaque but I was expecting just white no it kind of iridescence so yeah I don't anyway but they're nice they're nice no I'm not gonna complain I got moonshine five millimeter flowers and these are just regular old clear flowers use those as accents this is another beautiful color um, this is pale ocean blue green satin confetti and between this color here and another color I was trying to get a mint green but if you guys know which color on Cartwrights that's close to mint green let me know here are the light ocean blue green 5 millimeter satin flowers there we go I hope you guys can see these these are the black three millimeter full cup satin and I don't I doubt seriously if you can see anything on these but there they are and here are some black glossy eight millimeter iridescent circles and uh, unless I'm just missing it I don't see any, any iridescence in these circles they're just the shiny black three more these are the moonshine six millimeter fully cupped flower and actually I needed the smaller one but this will work I was just trying to re-up on the ones that I had and I messed it up like normal okay and this one is the moonshine six millimeter confetti there we 
go. And last but certainly not least, this is Pale Leaf Green 3mm Fully Cupped Iridescent. And these are they. Hey guys, I've been taking these things, these sequins out and putting them in here. And I was having some issues with a few of them. And I want to show you how I get mine out. And if you guys do the same thing, let me know. And I'm hoping that this one has some static in it so you can see what I'm doing. So okay, I'm, let me do them in this one right here. Okay. And see how there's some still left in the pack just kind of sticking to the sides for the static? I got a dryer sheet. And this one just so happens to be game. This is my exacto uh, knife. So I just wrapped it around the exacto knife. And I put it in the bag with my sequence that's sticking. I'm just run it in there like so. And see how they just fell off? The, you may not, but see, they're not sticking to the side anymore. They're on the bottom. And just pour them out like so. I'm going to leave one in there because I got to um, do my sheet where I keep one glued to the sheet and so I can see what I've ordered or not or whatever. So if you guys do that, let me know or how do you guys get the ones that's clingy from sticking to those sheets. And then I just go in like this just because. Why? I don't know. I just do it. But that's how I get my sequence out of the packs when the static clean is horrendous I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video if you haven't I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your comments are truly appreciated come back anytime and I see you go excuse me come back anytime and I see you guys in my next video bye bye little bugs